So when the year started, I definitely didn't have a Biggie Smalls action figure on my toy collecting bingo card. And then when I saw production images of him and then promo images, I was like, well, this is Super 7. So it's probably going to be released. And it's probably going to be awful. And with their reputation lately, I really thought that was going to be a definite. But I saw this figure in hand. I saw him today at Legion Con. I know this is something weird to see a Legion Con, but a friend of mine, Chubsy Wubsy, who, who, you know, not a sponsor, he's a friend, and I love his, sh his store in New Jersey, had this, had to get it. We will discuss today on Toy Games. Hey! Oh! Games! Woo! Toy Games! First things first, I had such a terrific toy weekend. My Newburgh Toy Show with my friends did well. New York Backyard Legend came up to say hi all the way from Queens. Much appreciated. Went to Legion Con the next day, which was today on Sunday. Met with a good friend. Um, finally met him in person as well, Brett Barton. He might link me up with Shardimus Prime to, to discuss the future of Street Sharks. I will really appreciate it if that happens. Enough of that nonsense. Let's get on to what is quite possibly a, a sleeper. I know, listen, I know this is very niche. I know many of you might not be into hip hop culture. Many of you might not be into an action figure that has not a lot of action. That is just a person, okay? But let me tell you something. Regardless to if you like hip hop, and let's get this out of the way. I hate today's rap music. Some of the beats are fine. Some of Drake's songs are fine. Every, I used to like Kanye West as far as a new rapper. My era of rap, my era of music. I might make a documentary called 1994, and it will all be based on every album that came out in 1994, from Mob Deep to Biggie Smalls' Ready to Die to Stone Temple Pilots' second album, to a Pearl Jam second album, to Portis Head's first album. 1994 is just an incredible year for music as my wife leaves the driveway to go pick up dinner. 1994, I'm going to make that documentary. I'm sorry if it's something different than toys. It's going to be a passion project. This man was a part of it. Hip-hop today is much different than hip-hop of the 80s and the, the 90s. 80s was more corny, like, I went to the street, I got a pack of meat. If you don't like it, you can smell my feet, which was fun. I was a metalhead in the 80s. I didn't like that kind of hip-hop. I liked Rakim. The 90s, when it started to get more fun... And they started to do more sampling. Uh, groups like Public Enemy and A Tribe Called Quest. And then eventually, Mr. Biggie Smalls. I'm sorry it took a long time to get there. This, now first, let me take the glasses off. It's a ter terrific head sculpt. I think the Four Horsemen did this. I didn't get a chance to talk to them about it today. That show was just madness. Usually I ask them questions because I know they link up with Super 7. And I wanted to see if they were wondering what was going to happen with the company because i know they really recently got bailed out these head sculpts of mr wallace are so good the old dirty bastard figure was also there the difference is though let's say he had a wonky eye or something didn't look right biggie smalls always wore sunglasses he hated his eyes so when you pop the glasses on it really makes Biggie shine. Uh, just a few minor gripes. This Jesus piece chain needs to be tucked into the coat. It's almost impossible. I have to try and figure that out. And putting the the um, Kango on with the glasses kind of has some like jumpy, loose stuff. But that could be worked with with a blow dryer. This figure first, though, before it's just a wrapper, is an action figure. It has double jointed, they're not double jointed, no they're not, but they, you get some good range in the arms, you get T-pose, good enough range in them elbows. This guy's a waist swivel, the torso cut. This guy can move, and unlike Power Man, not a big gap here. 
This guy can move in this jacket. He can move for what it is, a chubby, chubby black dude rapper. He can move. It feel it feels like an action figure. Doesn't feel like a, a I thought this was gonna feel like a big reaction figure. And it doesn't. It feels like a toy. This guy could totally like be with he could totally uh be in the city messing with Spider-Man. It's in between looking realistic and still looking like a toy, which was smart. It was very smart. It's fun. It's fun when things still feel like toys. And this feels like a toy of a rapper that most of us love. I mean, who the hell doesn't love Biggie Smalls? This is cool. This is the way, This is the direction Super 7 should run with. Make Rock Kim, make Run DMC like this. Enough of this reaction crap that people just collect as a novelty. And then go all out. You know, make... You know, I know NECA has done it, but they half-ass it where, like, the lead singer of Queen isn't even posable. You know, make freaking Axl Rose. Make Slash. Make Metallica. Make... I, I'm just rattling off names. I mean, if I could have Biggie posing like this next to freaking Michael Jackson and Prince and freaking Axl Rose... Um, I would be all in. This is fuck. Well, I don't want to curse. No, the kids watch. Like I said, I don't like the way the hat fits on. I will get, I will make that work though. This is a really fun figure. The, like I said, the ODB, I, I might get when it goes on sale eventually. I don't know how these are going to sell. I don't know what the market is for them. Let me get I was going to take... Uh, my favorite part is the Tims with the tongue folded down. They don't have the Timberland sign on it. Super 7 did get bailed out for $24 million, but I guess they couldn't pay Timberland to put the little tree on the boot. Now, something I talked about with Brett to go over with Shardimus Prime is sometimes to make a figure fun, you need accessories. He comes with the Jesus piece, the microphone, this little champagne glass, his uh, his cane. He comes with like the more of a dress hat, the Kango, the sunglasses. He comes with the reaching out hand, a fist hand, grabbing the cane hand. I this is don't sleep on this figure if, if you're lukewarm. First of all, if you like Biggie, it's a must get. If you want something different and unique in your collection, it's a must get. Look at that face of Biggie and what the sunglasses on. Let me get back so you can see how he looks with the Tims because the the yellow of the Tims breaks up the 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 color of the suit. This is a fantastic release. Super 7, do more stuff like this. Do more musicians, more weird. Not weird. This is unique. It's unique. I have more video. I bought a shit ton of toys at Legion Con. More videos coming today. Take care. Have fun.